Hey guys, it's Leanna. Welcome back to DIY Beauty on Purpose. Today I am working on three projects and this is a uh, thrift to treasure, trash to treasure kind of video. So I am starting with this boxwood uh, and galvanized tin, I don't know how to call it, but it's just, you know, one of these florals you can hang on the wall. I got this while I was in Florida at a thrift store down there. And I am going to do some minor but very, very special touches to it to give it a more spring summer look. And I'm starting with this stencil that I got a very long time ago. And I'm just, go just going to be using the top portion of the stencil and the bottom portion. It says farmer's market and then it says um, something about some vegetables and then handpicked something or other. Um, but I'm just using the a foam stenciling brush as well as the rust-oleum chalk paint in the linen white and I secured the stencil with some painters tape so it did not move on me then once that top portion was fully dry I then moved it um, I'm going to be moving it further down to do the stenciling on the bottom Once the paint was fully dry, now I'm just fluffing the boxwood. I think it was just a little squished from being at the thrift store and also on the travels back up here from Florida. And then I am using this florals that I got. These particularly I got at Walmart last year at the end of the season. So I just cut some of the branches off of the florals and I'm just going to uh, place it uh, or stick it in the foam that's inside. Um, and just spreading it out just to add a little bit of color to the greenery and then guys that would be it. a nice quick and simple project here And there you have it, how cute. Again, very simple. It was already a beautiful piece. It was only $4.99 at the thrift store and I was thrilled to have found it. And I think adding that stencil is just a subtle touch. And because it says farmer's market, it just has that summer feel and then adding the purple floral to it just finished it off. Okay guys, so for my second project, I am using this, uh, I don't know what it is, like a wooden tray. It's, it was originally from uh, Target, but uh, I found it at the thrift store here at home. And it's a Christmas themed one because it has a little Christmas tree, but I am going to give it a spring and summer look. So I started by sanding it down just a bit and then dusting it. And then what I'm going to be doing is I am going to be turning it into kind of like a a door wreath maybe or it could be for a wall or maybe for the middle of a window that will look very beautiful in and so what I'm going to be doing is adding a stencil I I made a line going across and then going also from top to bottom to find the center I want to make sure because one of the words that or what I'm going to be putting out in is hello sunshine the word sunshine it's a little long so I want to make sure I have enough space and I barely made it but you'll see here in a minute how I made it work so I'm starting in the middle that way I can work my way to the outside of it I'm using stencils that I got at um, on Amazon I'll link it down below and the paint is the rust-oleum chalk paint in the linen white
as you can see the E is really tight to the side there but I made it and then now I am going to continue the stenciling on the other side and this is where it got really tight so what I decided to do was to add the S first because I knew for sure I needed that and then to add the U I decided to make the U a little slimmer so I taped off some of the outside and just made it a simple U without the little curvy thing on the side and it worked out it worked out now for the hello portion I wanted it to be a little smaller so I'm using this other stencil that I got and honestly guys I don't even know where I got this stencil I got it a while ago and it's one of those that come like in a three pack different sizes and this is the larger one and I'm just gonna write hello and then using a little tiny paintbrush um, I finished or kind of traced it a little bit more so it's a little bolder and I also united the O because it had that little portion in the middle. So now I'm going to be taking some of the florals that I got off of Amazon. And again, this summer and spring, I'm going with a tropical farmhouse theme. So I'm having that palm tree kind of florals and then as well as adding some farmhouse touches here and there. I am hot gluing some of them there. And of course, this also served purposes to cover that little tiny Christmas tree that was on the on the tray now the the main goal for this bottom floral arrangement I don't want to add any ribbon to the bottom anything in the middle so I am very purposely using hot glue very sparingly but I'm also purposely doing it in a way where it's behind the floral and not on top that way when I'm all when it's all said and done and I'm done gluing all the florals it's not gonna you're not gonna see any glue and it's gonna be nice and a clean look to it the fern leaves that you see there I got at Dollar Tree and then the pink floral that I used is from Amazon as well so there's what I'm talking about I did not have to add anything to the middle because you cannot see any glue and I am really happy with the way it turned out Alright guys, so now on to the top portion of it. I got this burlap ribbon from burlapfabric.com and I'll be linking it down below. So when you're done watching the video, make sure you click on that link. It's burlapfabric.com. They have amazing um, products, just beautiful stuff and great, great quality. So make sure you, cl you click on the link down below and take a look at their products. So I'm, going, I'm just going to make here a simple bow and I'm going to be tying it in the middle with some jute twine. And I thought at first I would make some uh, legs to it or, or tails to the ribbon, but I thought just a simple bow like this with no legs would be perfectly fine. And I'm just going to hot glue it to the top portion of it. And I did add some pink um, of this uh, same pink florals that I added on the bottom. I did trim and made them smaller, but I did hot glue those in there just to add a little bit of color. So then to be able to hang it, so whether it's from a door or a window or wherever you're going to hang it, I used this other burlap ribbon. Again, it's from burlapfabric.com, just a little different. And look how beautiful this sign looks. I am in love. It has that tropical farmhouse look that I want and that I'm going with this summer. And I'm so, so happy the way it turned out. Alright guys, so my third and final project, I got this 
basket from the same thrift store in Florida that I got the um, the first um, arrangement from, and um, I loved it. It was only two ninety nine, and let me tell you, the size of this basket was way worth. I mean, so worth it. And I just thought it just looked beautiful as is, but of course I prefer the white look. So I'm gonna give it a heavy um, dry brush. So what that means is just, it's like a dry brush, it's very little paint on the paintbrush, but it is a little bit on the heavier side because I do want it to have a wider look, but I do want some of that um, shadowy distressed look to, to, to still poke through. So I'll give it just one coat of the heavy dry brush all around the basket. I didn't mention earlier, but I did tape off the handles because I thought it just had that nice, um, beigey kind of natural wood look to it, uh, wood tone to it. So I wanted to leave them less is, so that's why I taped them off so that I didn't paint them. So I, once the paint was dry, I removed the painter's tape from the handles. And then I'm thinking of what am I going to do with this? I still was throwing out some ideas. And so there's two things you can do. You can, or several things. You can use it for books. You can use it for magazines. You can use it for blankets, whatever you want. At first I thought, okay, I would use it outside and make a floor arrangement outside with natural flowers and real dirt. And then I thought, well, maybe I can do like an indoor arrangement. So that's what I'm doing. I added some scrap pieces of wood on the bottom so that the um, plant there can be lifted up and you can see some of that um, rope around. Then I'm adding some of the palm tree leaves that I got from Amazon and then some of the pink florals and then some greenery um, just to kind of fill it in. And then I added that plain white picture frame that I have used in several projects because I thought it would just add that little quirky kind of farmhouse look to it and that's it now it may not stay this way it may I may use it this way or it may I may add something different but I just thought it would be a clever way of using this beautiful basket and I just love the way it looks it's just an indoor arrangement using things that I already had that I had purchased for my summer decorations but as well as things that I already have so beautiful I love the way the basket turned out and those little handles and that wood tone gorgeous anyways that is it guys thank you so much for watching thank you for taking your time to watch my video and I hope you enjoyed it I hope you consider joining my Facebook or not my Facebook my YouTube family if you have not done so subscribe and I hope you have a blessed blessed day